Another great improvement being added to the Linux kernel that's going to be coming to us with the version 5.18. We recently discussed how some functions received an 8,450% improvement. You can check out my video on that. I'll post it up top. But this merge was made late, but was made because the Linux kernel got pushed back a little bit. We'll talk about version three of these changes soon, but let's first go through what started this quest to speed up build times and cleaning up dependencies in the Linux kernel. This here is a chain of emails on kernel lore. It says here, I'm pleased to announce the first public version of my new fast kernel headers project that they've been working on since late 2020, which is a comprehensive rework of the kernel headers hierarchy and header dependencies with two main goals here, speeding up the kernel build, which is fabulous. We know it takes a long time to build the kernel from scratch and decoupling subsystem type and API definitions from each other. We have great people like Ingo here who has devoted their time to help improve the Linux kernel project and going through and fixing any of these unnecessary dependencies, which will in fact improve build times. So you might be asking by how much? Well, we'll get to that in a moment, but before we do, make sure to smash that like button for me. Let's keep going through this email because there's quite a bit. Here it says, as most kernel developers know, there's around 10,000 main.h headers in the Linux kernel that are present in the include and architecture included hierarchies, which have grown over the last 30 years into a painful set of cross dependencies in what developers like to call dependency hell. They actually name it here as well. This is when header files are constantly being included unnecessarily because a preceding header file may already include that dependent header, making for extra compilation time or almost like a recursive type of build scenario if you want to think about it like that. Anyways, we see some performance stats for building the kernel with plain vanilla baseline versus with the fast headers version one. We see a 78% improvement in the build times. Basically, this is how many builds per hour can it make? Well, on the system, 15.5 builds per hour versus 27.7 builds per hour when using the fast headers version one. You can also look at this as how much CPU time was utilized. So notice that there's a smaller number here when it comes to the CPU clock, gaining about a 61.6% .6 improvement. So in conclusion, about 50 to 80% improvement in absolute kernel build performance, as it says here on supported architectures, and then Igno goes into even more depth about why on earth it took so much effort to reduce these dependencies. And if you want to read about this, I'll put a link in the description below. Fascinating read, but let's get on to some more information about version three and how it's going to be applied to the latest Linux kernel. All right, another email chain here again by Igno. This is a version three of the fast kernel headers tree, which is focusing on Again, speeding up the kernel build and decoupling system type and API definitions from each other. After around 2,300 commits, this one has included dependency cleanup for the Linux scheduler and has been ported into version 5.17 RC8 right before the release of version 5.18. Now, what's interesting here I just wanted to show is the differences between version two and version three. It's nicely highlighted here. In version two, there's over 25,332 files changed with over 178,498 insertions and 74,790 deletions. And with version three, 180,947 insertions and 74,572 deletions. That's a lot of work. And that's why these people need to be thanked, such as Ingo, for spending their time going through the kernel and optimizing it for all of us. So it becomes easier to use, easier to build, and overall faster just to run code. So make sure to thank a developer devoting their time today. It's quite fascinating all the work that they do for us in the background. Finally, let's go over the latest scheduler commit for the fast headers version three and explore the improvement that has been made with this one. So it says here, merge branch of the scheduler fast headers into scheduler core, merge the scheduler build of speed up for the fast headers tree. So here's the improvement here for the vanilla kernel version 5.13. Basically, let's just look at this right here. So 22,136 milliseconds CPU clock. That's how much it took to actually build the vanilla kernel 5.13. And then in this one, it took 8,675 milliseconds of the CPU clock in order to build the patched kernel with version three 
of the fast headers. So what does that mean to us? Well, if we just divide by a thousand, because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, we get some better numbers here as far as the CPU clock goes. And it's here in the summary. Basically what that says is it went from 22.1 seconds down to 8.7 seconds rounded. That's clock seconds, of course, with a 60.9% reduction from the two numbers. That's quite an improvement when it comes to build. Could you imagine building something 60.9 times quicker? And then when it comes to the wall clock time to, to build the scheduler, that dropped by 4%, a reduction from 2.95 seconds to 2.84. It's always exciting to see how much effort people are putting into building the Linux kernel for us especially since it's open source software. And in general, all open source development is great because everybody benefits from it. And we have people like Igno to thank for that development. Well, that's mainly what I wanted to go through. Keep a lookout for better build times in the scheduler for the Linux kernel with Linux kernel version 5.18. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Make sure to like the video, Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.